Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, I'm back with another exciting video. So today we are looking at a GitHub repository, which is this. It is repo to text GitHub. So what it do is, uh, whenever we upload any uh, paste any GitHub URL, then it will convert the GitHub into the text format. So you paste it to the GitHub, uh, paste it to the uh, OpenAI for making the thing easier for you to understand uh, different types of GitHubs, right? For example, if you uh, paste any GitHub URL and you want to know what what is happening in that GitHub, so you can copy that text file, all right? And then you can paste it to the GitHub or uh, OpenAI and or, or you can also upload the file text file to the OpenAI on the GitHub uh, store, right? So the steps for are uh, doing that thing locally is we have to just check it out this is the these are the steps they provide so first of all you have to clone the repo right and uh, just get me here you can in the code section you can click the github url and i have made this project hold it name as a repo to text and when I open this terminal I will write git thing on and this text it will start cloning into my VS code into my local folder repo to text and uh, the second step is to get the github API key and add it in the environment variable so for getting this how we can do this thing by going into your github settings uh, go to the settings after that scroll down and go to the developer settings here here you can click on the personal access token classic and uh, here you can generate your new token all right so i would say just go to text all right so and uh get the expirations to 30 days or 90 days you can do that all right and select all the permissions that is very uh important generate click on generate token it will give you the token and now it's already been done right so in go to the repo dot repo to text folder and go to the we make a file dot env and it's github api key all right yes i mistake it okay so now you have already uh, add the environmental key now for this step you have to make sure you have docker installed in your system like on your mac on your windows so you should have this docker desktop docker this is the most important step so If you have this, this will run smoothly. I will go to the uh, repo to text folder and uh, press Control V. So it will start. The API is completed. What happened? What happened? Help. Okay. Now I'll handle that and it will start making the composer. Uh, you can see, I guess, this is the thing in equal context. Alright. After that, when it's all been done, 
then you can do this command run this command and it's been done yes it's recreating because i've already installed this thing into my system so i want to show you guys how to install this thing to make this thing easier for you guys so that is why it says recreate and when you create this thing but for the very first time then you will uh, see created and created all right all right all right now we have this all right our front end is running which is basically on the fork number 3000 no take host three tight and here it's the interface so let me go to the my github and pick any of my uh repo the repos let's say image analysis that's the private one right and uh copy that oh it's only the let me get this thing ten so when i press on that and select any file so what i want to extract the file what i want to extract files i want to extract py files from this github and when i click on submit as you can see first it gave me the 200 status, status code and in there it extract all the my py files my pi code into the text form so you can copy the text you can just write not bad and paste that thing and save it and you can upload that thing to open ai github store so you can chat with the github any github repository all right so i have let let, let test with this thing to another GitHub and, and any 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 other GitHub forms. It says it is a very good GitHub. I will also make this video on that. But uh, some kind of issues are running in this for a while. So when this will the issues will resolve in this GitHub, then then I will make a video on that. It's a very good GitHub, good GitHub. So when I uh, copy the URL of this and I want paste that. And I also want to uh, this py file. Let me just paste that. Select py files. I want to mm, let me first see if there are any p5 files are here. In the backend folder. Uh, yeah, we have py files. We have total like. One, two, three, four, five, six, six py, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so eleven py files, right? And when I get there, first it take time to extract the repos. Hey, further information is like uh. Further more videos, exciting videos, you can check my YouTube page here. Uh, how you can uh, automatically create and download images from your journey, or how you can create a speech to text thing using Hugging Face, totally free. Mark, I'm not using any OpenAI key or any Nord key, right? So that is image analysis using Claude. You can also make a Scratch uh, Flask chatbot so you can uh, web interface like uh, it's a web interface. and. Uh, storyboards so you can create comics or storyboards or something like that from this project and you can also chat with your PDF documents so different kind of all right so I guess I have the post or not but I have this yes I guess I, I, I yes okay we are first quickly have config.py In it, in it, in it, in it, in the config.py, core.py, we have these files. In the event folder, you can see they're also mentioning the 
400 locations. Utilis.py. So full dot py files are here. If you want to select all files, you can also do that. All right. So it will extract all the files in a text format for you. And you